Hey guys, it's Robbie Richards here. In this short video tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to do keyword research for an existing website. This is the simplest strategy I know to get visibility into immediate growth opportunities for your search engine traffic. See, when most people think of increasing traffic on their website, they think that they need to go ahead and spend a ton of time and energy investing in content production, ad campaigns, link building, guest blogging, and all are actually really important but it's not necessarily the best place to start. The truth is you can actually get quick traffic gains without spending money on ads or writing any new content at all. How? Derive more value from your existing assets. If you've written content for any period of time on your site, you're probably leaving a lot of traffic on the table. This is what I like to call the low hanging fruit. And it's the topic of today's tutorial because I'm gonna show you exactly how to find all of the low-hanging fruit on your website and then use some analysis techniques to find which specific content provides the fastest growth opportunity for you. Now, when we're performing keyword research for an existing website, there are a few different data sources that we can look at. The first is analytics data, the second is contextual data, and the third, and the one that we're gonna focus on in this specific tutorial, is rankings data. Specifically, we're gonna look at which keywords you have historically ranked for, as well as the ones that you are currently ranking for. And this is what's going to give us that immediate visibility into the areas where there is opportunity for growth. Now this data set is extremely valuable, and there's really only a few tools out there that'll give you the access you need to get it. And in this tutorial, we're gonna look at one of the most cost-effective solutions out there. It's a solution I use every single day on my personal and client projects, and it will give you the type of data and insights that you would typically pay thousands of dollars for using other more complex tools like search metrics. And what's the tool that I'm talking about? SEMrush. It's, yeah, like I said, it's a tool I use every single day, very, very powerful and it's the one we're gonna use in this tutorial. So below this video, I've included a free 30-day trial link. It'll give you access to a SEMrush Pro account where you get all the tool's powerful features and are able to export all that historical data that we'll be analyzing to find the higher traffic growth potential areas on your website. Now, just a note that if you decide that you don't wanna use this tool before, before the 30 days up, just cancel and you won't be charged a penny. So there's no risk, and let's just dive in and get started. Okay, so once you have created your SEMrush Pro account, the next thing you wanna do is just come over to SEMrush, log into your account, and then head over to your website, copy your domain URL and paste it into the search bar at the top of the dashboard. And what this will do is it'll bring up your domain analytics overview report. Now, first thing we want to do is we want to click organic research from the left tab here. And what this will do is it will bring up our organic search positions report. And what this will do is it will show us all of the keywords that we're currently ranking in the top 100 search results in Google. You can see here I've got 2019 keywords that are currently ranking in the top 100 search results in Google. And if I was paying in AdWords, I would probably be spending about $6,000 for this traffic that my keywords are already bringing in. As you scroll down further, you'll get a bunch of more data. You can see here each individual keyword that you're currently ranking for, and along with the position, the average monthly search volume, the amount that you'll be bidding for that keyword in AdWords, uh, the URL that's ranking for the keyword, how much traffic that keyword is bringing to your site each month, the level of competition, trends in search, as well as a snapshot, a real-time snapshot of the search engine results page so you can more deeply analyze your competition. Now that's an absolute ton of data for literally five, 10 seconds of work already. So really strong tool. Uh, the next thing that we're gonna do, or before we jump in, actually on the left here, you can see a bunch of different tabs. Um, don't pay much attention to those for now. We can, uh, we, below this video, I've included a link to my SEMrush playbook that you can download and it'll explain all of the other features if you're interested in exploring those. But for now, we're just gonna look at the search, organic search positions report. The next step that we're gonna take is we're going to export all of this data so that we can get some actionable insights from it. So click the export button 
select Excel and this will download the Excel file to your computer. Once that's downloaded, open it up. Yep. And then you'll see here that all of that information has transferred over into the spreadsheet. So we'll just bold these headings to make them a little clearer. The next thing that we'll do to start analyzing our data is we will want to sort things. So we'll go over the data sort and here it'll add some uh, sorting options, drop downs to the top of each column. To start, we're gonna go to the search volume column and we're gonna click the drop down and we're gonna sort from largest to smallest. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna give us a list of all of those keywords that we're ranking in the top 100 search results for sorted by search volume from highest to lowest. Now, before we dive in any further, there's a lot of data here. So let's just try and make, uh, you know, add a few more filters in here so we can sort through it and make it a little more visually easier to follow. So the next thing that we can do is we can come over, select the positions column, come back to the home tab, and then we'll add some conditional formatting. Go to color scales, and then let's just select the red, yellow, green color scale. Okay, so now instantly we a better visual representation of the data. You can see your largest traffic opportunities from organic search. And then the yellow to red highlighted cells will show you all the keywords with the lowest but existing rankings. This is your low hanging fruit. Now, some of the keywords in here are not going to be ones you could realistically rank for in the near future. And some might not even be relevant to your business. For example, we've got anime Reddit, Reddit ass. <laughs> Uh, One Piece Reddit, you know, th those are keywords that get a lot of search volume that I have no interest in ranking for. Uh, on the other hand, if you scroll down, you might see things like AdWords Keyword Tool, Backlinks. These are relevant keywords that I'm ranking currently on page seven and nine for, but realistically, I'm not going to be able to climb onto the first page anytime soon for those. So for now, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time and energy focusing in those areas. The key here is to focus on keywords that not only make the most sense to your audience, but you, but ones that you are already preferably ranking on page on the bottom of page one, page two, at worst page three, uh, that you can go after and rank higher. And before we start manually gathering those keywords, let's just go ahead and create a new sheet on our spreadsheet here. We'll just let's just call it something like keyword opportunities, Oops, can't type. Okay, once that is, well, sorry, I can't type today. Once that has been created, we'll head back over to our main spreadsheet. And then we will come up to the top and we will just copy those headings and paste them into our new spreadsheet and we're ready to go. So let's jump back over and now let's just start going through the spreadsheet. You can see here based on the color code that we added, uh, any content or keywords that are ranking in the top three pages are gonna be with the green color scale. So as we scroll down, I see SEMrush gets 12,100 searches. I'm ranking number six, which is actually really good for that term. Uh, but I don't really see myself ranking too much higher because a lot of SEMrush's actual pro online properties are gonna be taking those spots and will be next to impossible to knock off. So I'm gonna keep scrolling down and then instantly I see a great opportunity here. How to promote your blog, which you know is my, uh, I revealed 20 strategies to do, get more traffic for your blog in this post. I can see I'm ranking number seven already and it gets 1300 monthly searches. So instantly I know that if I can increase by two or three positions up into the top five, I can in significantly increase my search engine traffic for not only that keyword, but any long tail variations and do it in a very short period of time. So I'm gonna copy that keyword and then I'm gonna take it over and I'm gonna paste it into my keyword opportunities tab. And then I'll head back over and I'll see some other keyword opportunities here. For now, I'm just focusing on the green ones, but you'll see here link building strategies is another one. I did rank number 10 for this keyword, but now I've fallen to 14. And one of the reasons I think that is is because my link building strategies post was written back in 2014. So I might be slightly outdated, but I know that it's already received a ton of engagement. If I can just refresh the content, build some new links, maybe strengthen the on-page SEO a little bit more, I'm confident I can jump back onto page one and increase my search traffic for those specific keywords. So I'm gonna paste that in there. 
And then you can start to see, I'm not gonna go through and do every keyword now for time's sake, but you can see that you can, you, you can start really quickly building out a list of new keyword opportunities to target and optimize in order to get new traffic relatively quickly. Now I wanna address a question I'm sure many of you are thinking right now, and that is what if I had like tens of thousands of keywords on my site? Now going through and manually sifting through this, all the you know top 30, you know, keywords ranking in the top 30 results is gonna take me a ton of time, which I'm sure many of you don't have. So one tip, tip that I will give you is you come back over to the positions report, deselect all, and then just select the first uh, one to 20 results. And then what this will do is this will make sure that the organic search report that you're looking at in this spreadsheet only returns the keywords that are already ranking on the top two pages. And these are the keywords that are going to be your, the lowest of low hanging fruit and ones that you can probably get the quickest results for. So now we can see that we have all the keywords in the top two pages sorted by search volume and we'll start scrolling down here and then instantly I see another keyword opportunity, lead magnet. I'm already on position number 11. It has a relatively low competition level and gets 390 monthly searches. This is a keyword I definitely wanna target and then look right below it, SEO case study. One of my recent case studies already ranks number 11 for that term that gets 390 searches. So I'm definitely for now going to copy those keywords and paste them into my sheet. And then I would just go through and start picking out all the keywords and finding which uh, content is ranking for them and start pasting it all into my keyword opportunities tab. So I'll have a short list of all of the different keywords and posts that I can go ahead and optimize to get really quick traffic. Traffic. Now, one other bonus tip here is once you've finished building out your keyword opportunities uh, spreadsheet, what you wanna do is you wanna go through and for each keyword, pay specific attention to the, the URL that's ranking for that keyword, as well as the level of traffic. Now this competition, oh sorry, level of competition. Now this competition is rated from a scale of zero to one. Anything below 0.4 is typically going to be something that you can get some very fast results with if, as long as you are you know, making the right optimizations to your site. So I can see here all of those fit into that ca category and then I can look at each keyword. And then the, the key here is to go out and then look at the content say, okay, uh, you know, do I need to refresh my content? Do I need to strengthen on-page SEO? Like in the, including the keyword more in title tags, heading tags, alt tags, a stronger internal link structure. Do I need to build a handful of uh, high authority links to the post? Start to look at the content and see where those opportunities lie because those are the things you're gonna focus on in order to go from the second page onto the first page and significantly increase your search engine traffic and you're gonna do it all without spending a lot of time researching new keywords or investing a lot of money and time into producing new content, um, which is the goal of this specific strategy. So go ahead, implement that strategy, download, uh, click the link below and get an access to SEMrush Pro account, follow the tutorial, find five to 10 posts or keywords on your site that you think you can get some quick traffic wins for and then go through and find out exactly what you need to do in order to increase those rankings. Often, like I said, it will just be a refresh or of the existing content or building some, a handful of new links. And then watch in a relatively sm small period of time, you're gonna see some significant traffic increases from the search engines.